Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Good morning, guys. Hope you're all well. I've just realised that I've been. Oh, good morning, Banksy Boo. <laughs> He's heard my voice. He's heard the gate. Is it breakfast time? He says, yes, you're late, but that is on purpose. So, as you know, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you are watching this. <laughs> and Diggs is coming flying through too. Yes, as you are probably aware, Tina is currently in France skiing. So, I have got the pleasure of looking after the boys as well as Tina and Sam. We kind of split it up between us so it's not all on one of us. But today is Sunday. It is a glorious, beautiful, sunny day. And we are off, Banksy and I are off, arena eventing. <laughs> Bit of a last minute entry. Um, and yeah, just thought go for it, didn't we, boy? Well, I did. You didn't. Me and your mum did, not you. Um, but we're off, which I think you're going to love. Yes, I know. Are you hungry? He says, where's my breakfast? But I thought I'd come over a little bit later because they're obviously staying out. I know that Tina is a little bit worried about dinks as well with the spring grass coming through. Um, I don't want to have any laminitis or anything like that. Um, not that he's, um, I think, ever suffered with it, but you can never be too sure with a Shetland. So I thought actually I'd bring them in for a little bit. Thanks for having his breakfast and everything in the stable. I'm on at five to two. Yeah, five to two, one fifty-six. So I thought I'd come over now. I think it's probably about half past nine. Bring them in. Um, I've obviously got quite a few different things all over the place. So I have written myself a little plan this morning. So I thought I would come here, bring them in, and then I've got to get things from home, like my actual riding clothes. Then I've got to go to the ponies. I can take my ponies' rugs off so they can enjoy a nice naked day. Although the sun is out, it is a little bit deceiving because it is still quite fresh. It's not like, it's not basically summer yet. It's spring. It's like a spring morning, but it will get warmer. I'm sure it will. Then I need to, and I'm going to hitch up my trailer. I'm going to take my trailer because I'm a bit too scared about putting Elsa on the back of my car. <laughs> so, and I know that, yeah, he travels well in my trailer anyway. And it's only cold rain. It's not very far away. So that is sort of the plan. I've kind of got to do a bit of a round robin. So I thought I'd come here first. I've actually then got to go home again and have a wedding call. Um with somebody <laughs> which is exciting you're gonna go off across the field in a minute aren't you if I don't hurry up and get you in so yeah let's get them in um but I thought I'd just yeah start the vlog here and now hear the birds it's such oh I love these kind of mornings they're the best kind of mornings and I feel that I'm like waking up a lot better like I've been up for a couple of hours already um but yeah oh yeah I've got to feed the kitty cats too feed them they're probably like you're late are they all in here waiting for me are they? Oh, yes, they are. Yeah, you are. Hi, Reddy Roo. Hello. Hi. Is mummy gone away again? Is she? Yes, kitty cats. <laughs> I will get you fed. Cats fed. Tiny's fed. Dink's giving the vlog the cute factor every time. My bag's taking his neck off. I think actually in the shade it's not that warm when you're stood in the stood in the sun it's a bit warmer but like, I can feel it on my hands it's got that chill to the air but I think it's gonna come out and be a very glorious day let's shut that and then I was meant to come over yesterday and get a numner out that Tina had washed so I better go get that a minute but other than that that's then done see you in a bit boys yes the boys include you Reg licking your lips was breakfast nice was breakfast yummy <laughs> <laughs> a bit wonky, I just took my hoodie off because it's suddenly getting quite warm. Trailer is hitched up. My number has been printed out. How funny, I did Pony Club last time. <laughs> I am aware that this is obviously quite a similar vlog to Addie's first cross country. Uh, first competition, not first cross country. First everything, first cross country, arena cross country, first uh, show. But of course it is with Sir Banksy. So yeah, I printed them off at my mum's. Thankfully they've got a printer, trailer's hitched up, my stuff is in the car and just waiting for Christopher, hence the reason I'm in the car but um, stationary, uh, just pulled in into the housing estate basically, turned the trailer right 
And my dad's just given me a very good compliment. Where the trailer's been parked for a minute whilst mum and dad have put some gravel around, um, the trailer's been in the field and I like reverse out so I'm ready just to drive straight out into the into the lane. And dad goes, to be fair, you've done probably a better job than I would. You're very good at reversing out there. I'm like, thanks. You know when people like like probably mum and dad don't often give you compliments they might think it but they don't probably say it out loud that often um but yeah <laughs> just did that for me so i am number 55 with Banksy today in case you do see on the vlog ignore the fact that it says prints at the bottom i couldn't find i thought there was a printable number on the pony club thing but this competition doesn't have it so I went on another one that's obviously running this weekend and found the number 55 and was like boom that can be ours so yeah pop that into you may have noticed that before this is the new number bib from as you can tell here Woofwear. um really nice you can adjust all the straps on the back and around the waist um and yeah I really really liked it and the numbers go in there really easily um yeah, as you've just seen me do whilst I'm talking to you. Um, go in nice and easy, so that is all set up and ready. Um, and I think I've got everything else in there. Like I say, everything is a bit all over the place from home, from mum's, and it's just a bit, um, yeah, a bit like, oh, I hope I haven't, but I've, had, I've checked my checklist, it's all good. Um, I've just picked up Chris a pasty. He asked me to pick a pasty up from the shop and it is smelling pretty nice which is making me now realise that I haven't ate anything. Maybe I'll have a look at Elsa and see if there's a wife food I can pinch. <laughs> um, I could do with it, although I've got my electrolyte drink, so that will help me. Oh, berry flavour this morning, and it's nice and cold, which is always nice. But yeah, just wait for Christopher to come out, and uh, yeah, we'll get over and get Banksy ready. He wasn't looking too dirty this morning, so that's a big positive. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of a quick clean with his legs I'm gonna get everything loaded in the car and then I can just obviously focus on getting Banksy ready with the remaining time but I am all on schedule what time did I say I was going to be 20 to 12 and I said I would get to Tina's for quarter to 12 so I've got five minutes and obviously we all know that I only live five minutes away from Tina's so perfect -o. now there was actually so I've now arrived at the ponies and I am currently looking <laughs> for some shampoo there isn't much in that but it's only because <laughs> his hocks are absolutely filthy four white legs there was two competitions on I could have done dressage today which a couple of people did say come on inspire Tina but if anybody works in finance will know that this time of the year is rather busy At the end of March beginning of April I worked pretty much all day yesterday and then I babysat with Chris my nephews last night so we got back quite late from that and I was just like then the thought of having to remember a dressage test just is a little bit more pressure and I know what I'm like always want to do our best <laughs> so I thought you know what let's go and have some fun jumping instead and I know he will enjoy that an awful lot more too um maybe we will inspire Tina another time but actually considering she hasn't done a dressage test this year why should it be me doing the first one so I'm going purely out to enjoy it and for you to enjoy it and just getting him out for Tina because he has been out quite regularly been having a bit of a probably a little bit of an easier time since camp um but yeah because uh, obviously when she gets back eventing season has started and she was meant to be doing Bovington but unfortunately that got cancelled because of the lack of entries so her first aim now is Bicton which not putting any pressure on you T but I do know that Bicton just has a little bit more atmosphere and a little and it without you even trying to it does add a little bit more pressure not pressure but I don't know whether it's just a bit more of a big event it's Bicton they held a five star there last year the three day at the end of the year yeah Bicton is just quite a big place and with that comes quite a big atmosphere and sometimes can apply a little bit more pressure than say Bovington um, in no detrimental way to Bovington at all because I actually really like Bovington um, but yeah I'm going to crack on with the last little bit of shampoo that I can find and get your legs a bit whiter hey Banks I have managed to work out how to use the shower so that is quite good right let's take a look at the state of them Look at the state of them. Good boy. I've got plenty of time, it's fine. I want to be there and baby dance. 
just a night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Okay, last thing to do, run down through my checklist, which actually I could do right now. Right, let's have a quick look at my checklist. Do, 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 do. Right, breastplate, bridle, saddle, numner, boots, girth, stirrups. Yeah. Fancy. <laughs> Better put a rug in for him as well, actually, just in case it is a little bit chilly, but I don't think it will be. But we shall see. Camera down, let's get him loaded up. Let's just face it, you can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better, so much better Landed at Coleraine. It's looking fairly busy, and on the drive over, I've suddenly got a few nerves come about. And I'm trying to think: Am I going to be competitive today, or am I just going to go for nicey nice? Oh, it's competitive. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I can leave him on the box this time. It's not Addy who's going to be like because <gasps> it's her first event. So, oh, that's not Banksy. Hi, Banks. Let's open this up, shall we? Hello, boy -ho. Where are we? Are we at Cold Rain? Please be a good boy. I'll leave you there. You've got a choice of two hay nets, haven't you? Hey, oh, good boy. Oh, missed a bit of mud on his face. Hey, good boy. It's weird opening. Oh, thanks. It's weird opening the trailer when you're in there on your own. Isn't it? Hey, good boy. Right. I'm going to go up and uh, have a little look at the course. Want to come up? Might as well. Yeah, you don't need to come and babysit this time. Oh, the dog's out. <laughs> you are naughty. <laughs> and trying to eat pasties this morning. <laughs> she failed though, didn't she? Only because I was quick. <laughs> I heard the packet go. I can't, I don't know where our other lead is, so we're going to have to have the tube lead down. Sit. I'm like a yo-yo with this jumper. I'm like, do I need it or not? Do I need it or not? Cornwall in the spring. Cornwall in the spring, yeah. Well, you're in a ski jacket and a jumper. How are you not hot? How's the spare fingers feeling? <sighs> They're not spare fingers. <laughs> These are spare fingers. <laughs>
What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. to ride he's so fun he just he's so game on for it very strong very strong so then sometimes just before when you're trying to actually see the stride but you were awesome i think your mum will be proud mommy will be proud no, very good gonna get him home and then i'll debrief a little bit more <laughs> watch it back you're not actually that that sweaty are you Oh, Ian, I? another drink now? I haven't got much camera battery left, but we are home. Christopher dropped off. Um, I thought I would unload him here, so I'm going to go and shut the big gate. Just, just in case, you know, anything happened. And I think I'm going to reward Sir Banksy with a bit of a naked day. It's come out absolutely beautiful. It's quite fairly warm, actually, now. Um, and there's not much wind. So, yeah, I think I'm going to let him go out. Oh, little Dean's naked gets me every time. Um, are we going to get you out, Banksy Boo? Hey, did we have fun? I'm so... I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of him. Like, when it's a horse... Obviously, I know Banksy. I know Banksy well, but not so much necessarily to actually ride, so yeah. I'm I'm pleased with you. Did you have fun? Was he good? Are you pleased that you went out somewhere? It was really funny, he was chilled. You were chilled the whole time, like stood by the trailer to get on, 
walking around the warm up, the moment a fence was put in front of you, he was like, ah, let me at it. Just absolutely loves his job, knows his job and absolutely loves it, doesn't he? Bless him. And uh, yeah, he was making me smile. And I think I've got quite a bit of footage of our round. Um, a lovely lady filmed it from the other side as well. I'm really sorry, I've got, my brain's just gone blank. What her name is, that is so terrible. Um, so I've got it from that angle. I've told you, mummy, that we're all good. Send her a little photo. She's probably seen that it's green and probably thinking fourth when it's actually third. Um, but yeah, mummy's proud of us. She is. And now, uh, yeah, you can go out and have a nice naked roll, Banksy Boo. Yeah. I've got it from one angle, then I've got Chris's angle, and I've also got the drone as well. Because <laughs> we know that you're all okay with the drone, haven't you? You've been with mine recently quite a lot, letting me have some practice with mine. Oh. Um, but obviously Holly is a pro and has done it many a times. Yes, I'll get you out now. I'm sorry. I'll get you out. I might even try and see if I can find you a step muffin. Because I haven't given you one weight today. I did pick a bit of grass for you earlier, didn't I, when we got out in the arena? But yeah. <laughs> Come on then. Let's give it, let you have a naked roll. There you go. There you go. Off you go. I'm going to get your little mate. I'll get him out now. <laughs> you going for a roll? Or no? Oh, he says I'm going to go for a drink. I think. Come on then, let's get. Come on then, Diggs, let's get you out, shall we? And then I'll sort everything out. Hello. Oh, didn't do that quite upright, did I? Go. Da -da -da. And go out, mind. Not go around the car. Oh, we can go this way, actually. Go this way. This way. <laughs> this way. Ready? There you go. Out you go. Oh, I thought it might be a little bit more entertaining, ponies. Very chilled. Oh. I'll see you at dinner time. Back again. Time to give his lordship his dinner, which he has almost finished because I've put his rug on and I wrapped you up for the night. <laughs> Making me laugh at Reggie. <laughs> Just sat out there like that. He's waiting for his dinner. I've given the, the boys, yes, you dinks too, your dinner. And I've been home. I've watched all the footage from today and I'm actually over the moon. Do you know, for a horse that obviously, yes, I've known Banks for a long time, but like I mentioned, riding him and doing a competition is completely different without Tina on the ground. Give me any sort of guidance. Obviously, Chris is a massive great help, but not quite. I don't know it from the riding aspect sort of thing. I think that's him there messaging me now because it is quite late. It's actually gone quite chilly again. Just been out for a lovely ride with Sprite and then thought, right, giving them, the girls, their dinner and now we're uh, head on back here. Banks was waiting for me at the gate so I thought I won't make him wait whilst I vlog. I'll give him his dinner first. Um, but yeah, I am over the moon. Just one of those things with the pole, unfortunately. I think we were on the right striding and all that, but just one of those things. But I can't complain. There was, what, 19 fences? And an awful lot of them were show jumps. So yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. Can't thank Tina enough for letting me, trusting me, to take her number one boyo for a competition. It was good to get him out. And she's seen the video. She's all happy. And yeah buzzing absolutely buzzing and it is actually quite funny how all of a sudden a 90 feels huge when you're so used to jumping poles like on the ground and really small with like Addy and things like that and Sprite doesn't really jump massive anymore so yeah I'm proud of myself for kicking on and doing it I know it's only 90 but it doesn't matter I'm still yeah absolutely chuffed he had a good time out good trip out in the trailers some jumping fun I think he definitely enjoyed himself. He was so feisty. Mr. Chill, and then all of a sudden, fence in front of him. Oh, I really want to jump that. Um, and I think it was towards the end of the course when we were coming in to jump like the little bit of a wooden fence before jumping out of the arena again. He had clocked onto number 10, and I'm like, no, 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 pull this way. I was like, I obviously didn't get him, I'm guessing, straight enough before that one. But bless him, he still was like, oh, that one. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so, yeah. Very honest and looked after me, didn't you, boy? And no jackass moments whatsoever. So, yeah, 
very, very chuffed. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog, a little bit different, stealing again, my bestie's pony. Um, please do like, comment and subscribe if you don't already. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all very, very soon. Bye.